I do not believe in the two political parties that run this country. Election day is getting closer, but the votes that Kamala Harris or Donald Trump don't get may go to a third party. Uh, in the 2016 election, there's some evidence uh, that third party voting uh, did uh, help Donald Trump win uh, Michigan. In 2016, Libertarian Gary Johnson received 173,000 votes. Trump beat Hillary Clinton by just over 11,000 votes. In 2024, Michigan is set to have key third party candidates in Jill Stein and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Kennedy dropped out of the race in August, but remains on ballots in swing states Michigan and Wisconsin. Stein has polled well among Muslim voters, according to a recent Council of American Islamic Relations survey in September. Jill Stein probably is the closest. MSU junior Nassim Borghati is choosing to vote uncommitted as a protest to Trump and Harris. Borghati says he doesn't agree with their policies that he says have furthered the killing of thousands of Palestinians. It makes me question their humanity and it makes me question their uh, uh, their morality as people and as leaders. You have not been hearing us out. You have not been supporting us. So this is what we will do this election. We will not provide you our support. MSU political science professor Matt Grossman says Arab American voters have been leaning conservative in recent years, and that could spell good news for Trump in a swing state. That's still a toss up. And it was pre Gaza. It had nothing to do with that. Uh, it was about LGBT books in schools and social conservatism and response to the pandemic. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a swing toward Donald Trump uh, within this constituency.